Hi guys and welcome. Today we are next to this beauty which is one of my absolute favorites in my garden and this is the Hibiscus Syriacus commonly known as the Rose of Shannon in English and Freelance Hibiscus in Swedish and uh, I'm going to tell you a lot about this and as usual we are going to divide this up into four parts. You have the purchase, the placement, the planting and the care of the plant. So if you want to skip forward, you can. Now the first thing you have to do is that you have to buy the plant. Now when you go out and buy it, there are only two things you have to look about, look at. Uh, and that is how many branches does the plant have? Now usually they are quite small when you buy it and they cost maybe about 30 euros for quite a small plant so you need you want it to be as good as you can when you plant it so look at the branches and get the one that has the most branches on it and also if you can knock out the inner pot and look at the roots the roots should have a white color and there should be a lot of them preferably a lot of small roots now if it has a couple of thick roots that are quite brown maybe you should choose another one now when you have bought your hibiscus you have to choose a place to put it uh, in your garden now it is a sun loving flower and needs as much sunlight as you can give it now you can put it in a semi shady spot uh, per perhaps under a tree or something but it's not going to grow as much and you're not going to get as much flowers on it. So if you can put it in a southern part of your garden and give it as much light as you can. So now you have chosen where to put your hibiscus and it's time to put it in the ground and plant it. Um, now this depends on where you live. They are not, the, the hibiscus syriacus is not a very uh, fuzzy plant. It doesn't need to have any special type of soil. It actually can survive in most, uh, most kinds of soil. So, but if you want to give it the best you can, you can dig out a big hole for it and mix your soil together with some sort of planting soil that you buy in the store. It doesn't have to be a premium one, just uh, something that is quite well drained, so it's not a lot of uh, clay in it. Mix that up together with the soil you have in your garden and you should be fine. When you have planted it, you can give it some extra force by giving it some uh, nutrients. Uh, usually I use some kind of nutrients that come in a pellets form, round small balls that you just put down at the bottom of the plant and let the rainwater do the work. So when it rains it dissolves a little bit at a time and gives some nutrients to the plant. Now taking care of your hibiscus syriacus is not that difficult. Uh, it's going to flower quite late in the season, at least here in southern parts of Sweden, where we have a summertime that has between 20 and 25 degrees in, day, in the day and about 15 degrees Celsius in the night. Um, it's going to flower from August a bit to the end of September, so approximately during two months. So quite late in the season uh, and you're not going to do anything after you planted this you're not going to do anything about it until it has flowered over. Uh, right, right now it is in full bloom and it actually regulates itself so when a flower is done like this one almost is it's going to just let it go and fall down to the ground so you don't have to pick it and pluck it and uh, uh, cut it off like you have to do with some of the roses in your garden you just let it take care of that yourself the only thing you have to do is to pick up the roses that it leaves on the ground of course 
Now, when it has flowered over completely, it is time to cut it. Now, you do this for one reason and one reason alone. And that is because when the, the fall winds come, when it starts to uh, blow a lot, blow a lot? Windy. When it gets quite windy, thank you, Philip. When it gets quite windy, uh, the hibiscus has a tendency to break. So you need to make it stronger. And one thing to do that is to cut down the, the branches that has been growing during the season. Now, if we look at one branch here, you can actually see where I cut it last season. I cut it right here. So this is what has been growing during this season. Now, when it's time, when the flowers have flowered over, it's time to cut it. And then I cut it at least half of the new branch. So when I cut it, I'm going to cut it approximately right here. Now you could cut it even further if you want to. Uh, and this makes the whole plant quite tough and is going to withstand these uh, harsh winds in the fall. Now by saying that you can cut this quite hard if you want to. You can actually put some of the some plants next to each other and use it as a hedge, which means you can cut it into shapes as well. Now when you do this, you shouldn't use a mechanical hedge cutter. Uh, you should actually use some kind of a scissors uh, so that you make a clear nice cut and not something that um, rips the branches off. It needs to be straight as possible because otherwise it can get some uh, fungus diseases or something to, um, to it. However, the plant itself is quite resilient to funguses and other types of diseases. So you shouldn't have any problem with this plant. I hope you've enjoyed this small video about the Hibiscus syriacus and uh, I hope that it works well in your garden. Now, if you have any more questions about this, please don't hesitate to make any questions in the commentary section. And also, please subscribe to our channel so you can get all of our videos as soon as they come out. Thanks for this time. Hey, Dora.